I love potatoes. You give me a potato, the odds are I will love it. French fries, what else we got? Mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, baked potatoes. Baked potatoes. roast potatoes, love them. Potatoes. Crispy potatoes, Hasselback. Hash browns. Hash browns, love them all. And one of the best potatoes that I had was recently when I went to Paris and had one of the potatoes that blew my mind. What it was was super simple, little, tiny little petit pomme de terre cooked in brown butter. The fewer ingredients you use, the less room there is for them to hide. And you have to use high quality ingredients. And this dish is the perfect example of that. You really only are using a few things here. Tiny little potatoes, fleur de sel, which is a French finishing sea salt, really nice crunch to it. Thyme, garlic, creme fraiche, chives, everything so French, including the butter. And for this dish, I really recommend using European style butter. What is that, you may ask? Merci. And what's the difference between European style butter and say, American style butter? American style butter uses around 80% butter fat, whereas French or European style butter as it's sold here in the States has to be a minimum of 82% butter fat. While that may not sound like a huge difference, I found that it actually does make a big difference in the finished richness of the dish here. And if you can swing it, Go with European style butter. Time to make these brown butter potatoes. The easiest recipe that I have ever developed here at Serious Eats. The cooking process for this couldn't be any simpler. You start on medium heat and you just go in with one stick of butter. A pound of little potatoes that have just been rinsed. You don't need to scrub them or anything. If you notice any dirt on them, get it off. And then they just go in the pool. Let's season them at this point. Uh, you can use kosher salt for seasoning them while they cook, or if you just want to use one type of salt, you can use fleur de sel at this point as well. You're not using, this looks like a lot, but it's a pound of potatoes and they're raw, so don't freak out. A good amount of cracked pepper. Over the course of the hour, the Butter will brown beautifully. Trust me, it has plenty of time to do so. And that's actually why you don't brown it up front, because otherwise you risk scorching it throughout the cooking process. At this point, all I'm doing is making sure that the potatoes are in mostly an even layer. You might have a couple here or there that are peeking over the top. You're constantly swirling, stirring the potatoes, and they will cook evenly. Once the <coughs> butter starts foaming pretty consistently and semi-aggressively around the potatoes and is turning a sort of straw-colored golden. I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium-low and then go in with simple aromatics of a few sprigs of fresh thyme and a couple of garlic cloves. Swirl that around and this is it. You're just kind of going for around 30 to 45 minutes depending on the size of your potatoes. And the only thing you're doing every now and then is giving them a nice little swirl and stirring them around, making sure that they're in as much of an even, even layer as possible. And that's pretty much all she wrote. As it cooks, it'll definitely start to turn more nutty brown. And actually the sound that it makes as it's cooking changes. Kind of a bit. If you were at a, outside of a concert or stadium event in between the song, and you hear all the people murmuring and talking, and it's got that chatter about it. And as you go forward, sound a little bit like a, a little screamy, a little a silence of the lambs, yeah. It really starts to smell great in the kitchen. And this is when people sort of start flocking in from around the office, checking in, oh, what's happening? And you just say, yeah, oh, you got a ways to go before these potatoes are ready. It's been about 40 minutes and the potatoes are pretty much there. To test the doneness of potato, Similar to testing roast potatoes, just take a paring knife or a cake tester and check a couple to make sure that they 
don't offer too much resistance when you pierce them like so. I like to do a couple just to make sure and always do larger potatoes than the smaller ones because they'll take a little longer to cook. But yeah, these are really nice and tender and you've got that little shell of crispiness on the outside, but once you get through, they're really creamy and ready to go. Now, kill the heat and get them off. When I first started testing it, I was getting the potatoes and they were cooked through and I thought, okay, I'm good to go. As I took them out of the brown butter and plated them, the centers would start to get kind of starchy. They weren't creamy and soft all the way through. And it took me a little while to figure out, really simple, just let them hang out in this brown butter in the pot for five minutes and you'll end up with these nice creamy potatoes all the way through with just a hint of crispiness on the outside. The key is a little more patience. You've taken 45 minutes to cook these beautiful little potatoes, wait five minutes more and they'll be perfect all the way through. For plating these up, I just like to go into a shallow bowl, coating the potatoes and the brown butter as you go. And you can decide if you want to completely douse them in brown butter, which is what I would do, but you can also use that brown butter elsewhere. If you've cooked a steak or something, just spoon it over when you slice up a steak. But we don't have anything else going on right now, so it's getting all the brown butter. I've got very French garnishes here. So I go first with the salt. I'm not shy with salt. You shouldn't be either. Plenty of sliced chives. Creme fraiche for dipping. A little bit of that baked potato vibe. Instead of sour cream, it's just sour cream that's studied abroad in Paris and won't shut up about it. It's creme fraiche. Mm. Creamy all the way through. Timer going up. Creamy in the center, slightly crispy on the outside bathed in brown butter. This dish is elegant, it's simple. It would fit right in on a holiday meal table as well as on a lazy weeknight. It's, it's French, you know? They don't have to try hard to look good or taste good. Better than my French accent, French brown butter potatoes.